Howdy guys and gals, Glenn here, and today I am keeping the subscription box train a running, and I'm going to talk about the latest Legion of Collectors from DC and Funko. This is the November box, and it features Batman villains as the theme for this particular month. Uh, this box, long and a little bit, uh, you know, not as tall as some of the other boxes, so... Um, that's a good indicator of the types of items you'll see inside. But let's talk about the box first. We open up the box, and as per normal, we've got comic panel stylings on the inside, and you can uh, you know, open it up a little bit more, kind of lay it flat, and it's a bunch of the Batman villains, as it should be. Always high quality boxes from them. All right, the first thing we normally pull out of the box is the patch and pin, right? So let's go over those first. The patch is featuring Bane. So we've got Bane there. Not a big fan of this patch, actually. Um, it's a little plain for me, um, and it's just not that creative to me. Uh, it just kind of, you know, it's a three-color patch that just isn't all that interesting to me. So it's not bad, I just... You know, as patches go, I've seen better ones than this. However, the pin I am really digging. The pin features the Riddler, and it's a nice green with the Riddler silhouette in it. A uh, little stylized writing for the Riddler as well. I dig this pin. I like I like green a lot anyway. And as you recall from a couple of videos ago when we were talking about the um, the Marvel Collector Core, it had a nice green pin in it. And this uh, adds to that collection as well. So I dig that pin a lot. All right, let's do the wearable. No shirt this time. So instead of a shirt, we've got a pop hat. Um, they've been doing this in a few of the boxes. We've gotten a Star Wars. Uh, we've gotten a hat in the Star Wars box. We've gotten a hat in the Marvel Collector Core uh, back when they did Spider-Man. Well, this one is featuring the Joker. So we've got the Joker on the front there and in his pop styling. Um, lots of nice little detail on this. It's a gray hat with purple piping as would befit the um, the Joker. Nice purple underbrim and it shows the DC and pop logos there. And then the fun Funko, um, Funko lettering in the in the hat itself as well. One thing I like that I didn't notice until I looked at it a second time is that J on the back with the cards. I like that a lot. That's a nice little touch that they didn't have to do. They've got pop on the side, but that J on the back is a cool touch for this particular hat. So, good looking hat. All right, let's do the normal comic. It's going to come in this box. This one is a little while ago, they had some. Uh, they had the villains take over the Batman comics. So you had Batman with crossed out Harley Quinn, Batman crossed out Joker. This one is the Riddler with a obviously a, um, a pop-oriented cover. So it's number 23.2 um, because there was a uh, few of these different Batman comics that were, you know, Riddler number one or one of the other villains number one. So again, pretty typical comic. Uh, you know, nothing nothing special to write home about. I liked this series of villain comics, uh, and this one uh, is no exception. So I like, the, I like the art. It's good looking. All right, now into the meaty stuff. We've got the pop items. Now, it seems to me maybe they couldn't figure out what they wanted to do with the, uh, with the Funko items because we actually got one more Funko item that we normally get, or one more at least than we got in the Marvel Collector Core. So let's go over them. We will start with the pop. The exclusive pop for this month is Catwoman, and this is her in her purple and green regalia. Uh, I like this one a lot. Actually, you can see the other figures from the normal line, Batman 1, Robin 2, uh, Joker, and Harley Quinn, and then Catwoman added on to the end there. Uh, so let's take her out, see what she looks like in person. All right, these are DC, so they're not bobbleheads, right? They're just your straight uh, pop figures. This one is pretty cool looking. I, I love the colors 
Um, I like pops that have bright colors. Uh, the accessories are nice. Some of the detail as far as uh, having her whip out. The cape looks cool. Uh, I like the the way her outfit has the kind of the loincloth look down there. Um, a mini cape in the back. The only thing is, the first thing I noticed is if you can, I don't know if you can see it on camera here. That's a pretty good angle. But you can kind of see she's kind of scuffed up on the forehead. Um, so that's generally, a, you know, a paint thing. I'll, I'll hit it with a magic eraser and see if that does anything. But a little bit of imperfection in it. Not too bad. Not something that I'm going to notice if it's on the shelf very much. Unless the light's hitting it just a certain way. Uh, overall, I like the pop anyway. Uh, but that's just the very first thing I noticed was that kind of imperfection. You can see it really well there. Um, but other than that, good looking pop. All right, we in addition to a regular pop, we've got Adorbs. And this one is Two-Face. So this is an interesting Dorbs because, you know, all the Dorbs generally have the same expression. This changes it up just a little bit with the other half of Two-Face. So... Um, this is a cool Dorbs. I know a lot of people don't dig the Dorbs or the other Funko Pop lines, or the Funko lines, but I really enjoy the Dorbs myself, and this is a good looking one. I love the ones that have lots of color, and lots of, you know, you don't have a whole lot of detail in Dorbs compared to Pop figures, but if you look, kind of, you've got the coin in the hand, um, and the paint job looks really good, uh, down to the kind of scars on the green side. So there's your there's your two sides of Two-Face. And it looks really good. I just think this is a is, is a really, really good looking Dorbs. I'm looking forward to getting the uh, the GameStop box that's coming up for Black Friday. It's got the animated series uh, Two-Face in it. So I'm looking forward to, to having both of those. So there is the Dorbs. And then a third Funko Pop item, or Funko item, which I was a little bit surprised at, especially since we just did the Collector Core and it had a Doctor Strange mug in it. Very next month, the Legion of Collectors has a, another pop mug, and this is the Joker. So another exclusive pop mug, which I'm not going to complain about because I will take as many mugs as they'll give me because I really like them a lot. And there's Mr. J right there in his pop styling. Uh, again, another collectible ceramic mug, really not too fit to drink out of, although the, his hairline does kind of make a, a spout to drink from. Um, but good looking mug. I love these to display. Uh, again, it's one of those non-pop lines that some people kind of find fault with, but I dig the pop home stuff uh, from the mugs to the salt and pepper shakers. I like all that stuff. So uh, good job with the mug. So good box. We've got six major items in here. Um, which is actually, again, one more than I expected. You've, we've got the patch and pin. Not digging the patch that much, but the pin is just awesome. I really like it. Uh, the hat, again, it's not a shirt. It's something different. This is our third hat, and, you know, I dig the pop hats. They look good. And this one has a level of detail that is really cool. Um, the comic, pretty standard stuff for the comic. It's it's good. Um but again, it's kind of it's kind of one of those things that just comes in the box, and it's not better or worse than any other time you get a comic. Uh, it just kind of is, so it's kind of expected right now. The pop Catwoman looks cool. Again, it's got that imperfection in it, but it, every pop, everyone's not going to have that. It just happened to be on mine. Uh, but other than that, I like the pop. I like the hair sticking out of the her cowl as well. So not something that I really noticed, but. I like that as well. So, good looking pop. I really dig this Dorbs a lot. Um, again, I like the Dorbs for the level of detail. Um, you know, they don't have to overdo it. But Two-Face looks really cool in this format. Because he, you can really bring out the Two-Face part of it. And then lastly, the mug. I dig all these mugs. And uh, this is no exception. I like the, I like the Joker mug. It'll go well with all the other pop home mugs I have. So uh, this box is getting an A from me. If not for that, that this came a little bit scuffed up, 
uh, it would be getting an A plus because I just think this is great. I love that it feels like I got an extra item this time compared to the other boxes, uh, but they did a really, really good job this time. Uh, so that's about it for this box. How do you feel about it? Do you did you enjoy this box? Do you like where uh, Funko's headed with these uh, boxes? They're spoiling them all over the place. So at, as of now, you pretty much know what at least what pop you're going to get. Uh, in the next month, and they're rolling that out to the other boxes, so pretty much you know what you're going to get uh, as far as the pop goes. But these were there were some nice surprises in here, and uh, I just felt it was really cool. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below. If you like these videos, definitely hit us up with a subscribe, which is somewhere on this screen. Uh, and uh, uh, throw us a like as well if you like this video. Um, that's it for now. We've got a lot of uh, cool videos coming up, and I'm chugging them out uh, fast and furious. So until next time, we will see you later. Bye-bye.